Hi everyone. In this video, we will set up Spotless for our project. So while setting up the project, we added this plugin, if you remember. Now this is a code formatter that we can use to format the code and it will make our code spotless. Now let's see how to use this plugin. So first change this to project view and here inside our project directory, we will create a new file. You can name it anything, but I am naming it spotless. Now name can be anything, but it should be a Gradle file. So this is our spotless.gradle file. And here we will define some configuration. And these are my Java and Kotlin formatting configuration. For Kotlin, we are using KT Lint. Now what we will do is we will go to our main project level build.gradle file. And here inside this block sub projects, we will apply spotless.gradle. So to do this, just write after evaluate, we will apply spotless for every project. So we will write project dot apply. And here we have to give the path of the spotless.gradle file. So first we will get the projects root directory. So we can write here project dot root dir and then slash spotless dot cradle. Now sync the project and you can use spotless. Now let's see how to use spotless. So open terminal and here you can write cradle w spotless apply. Now here we are getting an error and let's see what formatting error we have in our project. So spotless checks for formatting error only. So let's go up and here it says standard no wildcard imports. So inside this file KTLint found a problem and it says we should not use wildcard imports in our Kotlin files. So go to this file and this is a test file that is created by default and here we have this star that means it is a wildcard import that we should not do in our Kotlin files. So for now I will just delete the test files because we will write the test cases in this project but not now. So I will delete that test and this unit test as well because here also we have this star. So I have deleted the test files. Now let's go back to terminal and run the spotless apply command again. And this time you can see we have build successful. So now our code is spotless. So that is all for this quick video. In the next video, we will start designing the authentication UI. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.